Sterling Crispin created a 3D mask that is based on the face recognition machine that is used by, for example, Facebook. His main reason to create this was to want governments or big organizations to be more transparent about their works. Yeah, so Sterling, you say that one of your reasons for this mask was to show the machine what it was looking for. Um, what exactly do you mean by that? Um, well, instead of defeating facial recognition, I'm really trying to expose uh, its inner workings and how it works. Um, we're always being watched by algorithms and by machines, but it's all very invisible, and I'm trying to make this visible and tangible and kind of give it a body. Yeah, and can you explain as easy as possible how this mask works or how you made this mask? Sure. Um, well, in simple terms, I start with a kind of average blob-like shape and I randomly change it and then I measure how face-like it is using modern facial recognition. Mm -hmm. um, if the change that I made improved its, its face-likeness, then I keep that change. And I repeat this thousands of times with many shapes which are combining together with one another and over time they kind of evolve into a face. Okay, so what is it exactly you're aiming for with this piece of art? Um, well, I'm really interested in how computers as a whole understand humanity and how we're interacting together and what part of ourselves can't really be represented by a machine. Um, we're creating these very intelligent computers and we have to be very careful on how we teach them to see us. Yeah, and do, do you think anything positive can come from these face recognition machines? Um, sure, well it could help you um, take better photos or find pictures of your friends or something like that, but it's all being funded by the military and it's, it's dangerous and we need to really uh, guide this techno technology towards something useful and kind of minimize the dangers of it. Okay, thank you so much Sterling for uh, sort of opening up our eyes with this and uh, if you want to see more videos like this, check out interconnection.com.